find a comfortable seated position with your legs crossed and allow your hands to drop maybe on your knees maybe here into your lap and let's take a few moments to settle to arrive in the present moment so feel free to close your eyes and just start to breathe breathe consciously so follow your breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathe in and let go, breathe out. Soften your muscles, relax your mind. Start to arrive in the present moment. So let's start to observe which body parts are touching the mat right now. Which parts of your lower legs, of your feet, feeling your sit bones grounding your body. So in these parts, try to melt deeper into your mat try to find a good foundation where you can settle where you can enjoy some stability and then feel observe which body parts are not touching the floor Connect to your spine. That is lifting you up, creating length, growth up towards the ceiling. So enjoy this balance between strength and stability towards the floor and lightness, freedom, length up towards the sky. So now you're a little bit more connected to your body. Let's guide the focus to your breath. Find the Pilates breath in through the nose. And as, as you breathe out through your lips, you're going to center yourself, which means you pull the navel in towards the spine. Keep that tension as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, imagine blowing out a birthday candle. Close the rib arches, center yourself, breathe in, keep that tension. And breathe out, reduce the distance between belly and back. Breathe in. And breathe out, creating that strength coming from the inside of your core. When you found that strength and that breath, Feel free to open up your eyes again and just take the left leg to the side and back. So we're going to start with a mermaid stretch. So you're going to inhale, open your arms nice and wide and exhale, flow to the right side. Come back up to center with your inhale and flow to the other side. Exhale, grab your shin here, upper shoulder back and down. Breathe in center. And breathe out, open up the side of your body, the muscles between your rib arches, so you create more space to breathe. Breathe in, center. Maybe sink a little bit lower onto your hand or maybe onto your forearm. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's go for two more rounds here. Softening the shoulders, they're moving away from your ears, creating a long soft neck here and then float to the right side and sink onto your right forearm breathe in left elbow up fingertips behind your ear and exhale you're gonna stretch the right arm control and breathe in lower down 
breathe out, extend the right arm, use your triceps and breathe in, sink down. Let's add another movement. So come up, exhale, stay low on your forearm, inhale. And let's twist, let's connect left elbow and right wrist. Look back, forwards, breathe in and stretch your right arm, breathe out. Slowly with control, no rush here. Massaging your organs, your intervertebral discs as you twist. Look forwards as you inhale. Let's add another movement. Exhale up. Inhale down. Connect elbow with wrist. And then allow the elbow to pull forwards, upwards, and open your shoulder and your chest. Let's start from the top. Exhale, extend. Inhale, sink down low. Connect elbow and wrist. And now imagine drawing a half circle with your elbow into the air. And then start from the very beginning. Exhale up. Inhale, sink down. Twisting. Now pull the elbow forwards to create more length for your spine. Open up and over. And let's go for two more rounds. It's a nice exercise, a nice flow to work on your flexibility for your spine. You mobilize your shoulder, you open up your chest muscle. Let's go for one more round. Make the movements bigger, as big as you can. First, pull the elbow forwards and then up and over. One more time, stretch the arm, exhale. And then stay low on your forearm, inhale. Now let's squeeze the glutes, tugging the tailbone under imprint position. And then with the inhale, move into your hollow back with control. Powerhouse is still active. Exhale, squeeze the glutes, lengthening the lumbar spine. Enjoy this nice opening in your upper hip flexor. And inhale, hollow back, opening up the lower back. Exhale, squeeze the glutes. Inhale, open and move the pelvis forwards. Good job, so keep the shoulders stacked above each other. Keep them calm, keep the legs calm. Just move your hips here. Let's go one more, squeezing the glutes as strong as you can. And then use all that flexibility you got in your lower back, move into your hollow back. And then come back into the neutral spine position, lifting uh, the upper leg up. And with the next inhale, you stretch and point. And with the next exhale, you flex and bend the knee. So inhale, stretch and point. And exhale, bend and flex. So you keep the hip open and you just move the knee and your ankle here. So don't collapse towards the floor, keep pushing out of your shoulder. And when you've got that, let's include the core a little bit more. We're gonna go for a double kick. Exhale, shh, shh. inhale through the nose, lengthen. Two times, kicking your heel towards your butt cheek and inhale, lengthen. Shh, shh. Breathe in and breathe out. Shh, shh. Half time is over, give me four more. So listen to your neck and listen to your shoulder if there is any discomfort. So just lay down onto your side, keeping that waist tunnel here. Let's go two more. No motion in your upper body. Keep it long, breathe in. Powerhouse active, breathe out. Let's circle the leg forwards, upwards, back into center, breathe in. Flex and point, breathe out. Circle as you breathe in. And exhale, flex and point. All right, so start with tiny circles. So you can keep the control um, over your hip here. So we don't want to move the hip like this. So stay steady and calm here. And just move the leg in your hip. Let's go for two more. Maybe give your shoulder a little bit of rest. Lay down on your side. Last one, breathe in, Ooh, and breathe out, and then, surprise, let's switch the circle. Oh yes, enjoy the burn when it's coming. 
Breathe in, circle back, up and forwards and breathe out, flex and point. We're going to go for four more rounds. Keep the leg parallel, which means big toe down, heel up. So how not to do it? Yes, how to do it. Ooh, the circle doesn't have to be big. Tiny is fine. Think more in length. All right, last round. Back up forwards and center oh my gosh enjoy the burn and then stay flexed here and we're gonna pulse breathe in and breathe out strong powerhouse Woo! oh yes breathe in and breathe out upper body torso is calm just move the leg breathe in and breathe out the pursed lips yes we got this together two more breaths breathe in and breathe out imagine the foot wants to reach the other side of the room and then with the next exhale stop the movement and drop the leg Ooh, oh my gosh now we warmed up <laughs> let's take it up onto your hand and bring the left foot onto the ground knees pointing up so make sure your um, ankles your hips and your wrists are now in one line okay so if this is happening just pull the hand a little bit further away from you left arm on your knee prepare and then inhale press the left heel into the ground come into your side bend and exhale lower down and focus on your powerhouse breathe in lift up and over and breathe out close your rib arches so this is your base move you can keep going in this base move base move doesn't mean that it's easy so just keep going if you want a little bit more of a variation hold it high inhale now thread the left hand under the right arm twist breathe and look up to the sky and breathe out pull the upper arm to the back to open up your chest muscle breathe and look forwards and breathe out settle down relax hand and shoulder and then come back stronger breathe and lift twist as you exhale look down breathe and look up to the sky and breathe out pull the upper hand back to open up your chest breathe in and breathe out now if you want more pull the hand one length one hand length away from you so you can stretch your legs here breathe in breathe out twist look down it's just optional you can keep your legs bent listen to your body what do you need today breathe and look forwards breathe out bent so we're gonna go for two more rounds breathe in through the nose breathe out through pursed lips breathe and look up press your right fingertips firmly into the mat keep that nice foundation here last one so you decide keep the legs bent or stretch them breathe and look up pull back look forwards and relax take a moment to circle your wrist to circle your shoulder and while you're shaking it out you're gonna extend the right leg forwards and then place the hand back onto the mat and bring your fingertips here behind your ear so now you're on your right butt cheek the left is in the air have a look to your toes they're not pointing up to the sky they are pointing to the side which means you're gonna mm, turn out your leg so you now for the next exercise get the power out of your adductors inner thighs and not your hip flexor lengthen inhale and then lift the heel and then the leg is following Draw up the leg come on both butt cheeks arms forwards half roll down exhale pull the navel in round your spine come onto the right butt cheek again inhale and exhale without rounding your spine you're gonna lift the leg it doesn't have to be high don't stress breathe and ground the left butt cheek breathe out imagine someone is punching into your abs and you're contracting here rounding your spine <laughs> breathe and come onto the right butt cheek and breathe out lifting the leg good keep working in your breathing rhythm as you exhale you round keep the shoulders low look to the left knee inhale grow exhale lift 
Inhale, come into a seated position with both butt cheeks grounded and exhale. Make sure you have um, some space under your uh, chin, preferably a fist wide. Breathe in, lengthen the arms, thumbs up. Breathe out, round your spine. Good, so keep the spine in the air. It's just a flexion and an extension. Last one, breathe out. Breathe in, lift and lengthen. And then stay in the half roll down position. Lift the right arm as you inhale. As you exhale, lower down. Look to your knee so you can keep your neck in a neutral position. This is option one, just lifting one arm. If you want more, lift both arms at the same time. Don't move your torso. So keep it still there, just moving the arms. Ooh, my abs are shaking. Nice, so you decide whether you just want to lift one arm or both arms at the same time. It's very helpful to flex the right foot to lengthen the right leg and to press the heel down into the ground. Let's go for two more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Try to round the lower back a little bit more. The pubic bone is facing up to the sky. Ooh, and exhale. Arms down and lift. Inhale. Oh, wow, relax for a second and then just flip the lower legs to the side and under you so you can come up into a yeah knee stance. So open your legs shoulder width apart and from here you're going to extend the left leg to the side. So keep your big toe and your knee in one line grow an inch taller and as you exhale you try to connect your right butt cheek with the right heel all right then come back inhale open up through your hips squeezing the glutes and then sink a little bit lower breathe and lift and breathe out keeping the spine long nice so imagine you have a smile here on your chest and you want to present that nice, wonderful smile to each and every one. So stay proud here in your upright posture. Shoulders back and down, lifting your collarbone and your heart. Good. Listen to your knee, only go down as low as your knee is fine. Let's go one more, exhale and inhale now flex the left foot turn it out bending the knee here you ground the left fingertips and then from here we're going to inhale lift the right arm and exhale look down to the ground so this is a nice hip opener at the same time we're gonna um, go for a spinal twist here so use that left arm press the arm against the thigh to open up the hip a little bit more three more inhale and exhale look down two more try to deepen so melt allow the hip to melt down squeezing the glutes one more open up breathe in and then breathe out round both hands now lift the lower leg and flip it over so you arrive in your lunge position. Tuck the toes under, stretch the knee, the right knee. Now we're gonna go for a little plank session. So before you start, stack the shoulders above the wrist and keep them where they are. From here, you're gonna exhale, send the left foot back and up. Inhale, foot next to your left hand, hip down, stretch it out. So exhale, shoulders above the wrist, look down between your hands. Inhale, feel free to help your left foot with the left hand. All right, so breathe out and breathe in. Shoulders low, let's go for two more. Use that Pilates breath and in the next round we're gonna meet in the plank with the left leg in the air. We're gonna circle that left leg, breathe in one circle, breathe out another circle. Keep the shoulders above the wrists. Two more. Feel free to drop the right knee on the ground if needed. And then reverse the circle, four in total. Breathe in. Breathe out, press the hands firmly into the mat. Woo. 
pull the hands to your foot and the foot towards the hands. Last one. And then drop the toes, ground the knees, child's pose, relax. <sighs> so try to keep the control over your breath. So breathe into the nose. Breathe out through the lips and allow the muscles to become soft, getting new energy here. Prepare for coming back stronger. <laughs> Last one, breathe in. And then breathe out. Start to roll up vertebra by vertebra. Nice. Just drop your back butt cheek on the ground. And then from here, we're gonna just pull the right leg to the side and back. And then, ta-da, we're here for the second side. So open your arms nice and wide. And we're gonna start to flow into our mermaid stretch. So exhale to the left, breathe in center. And exhale, grab the shin with the right hand, left shoulder back and down. Keep going, breathe in and breathe out. Enjoy the flow. Imagine the movement is carried by the breath. Maybe close your eyes. Let's go for three more rounds. Breathe in center. Try to lengthen the spine a little bit more. And then finish your last round slowly and meet me on your left forearm. Elbow is located under your shoulder. So inhale, the right elbow is lifting you up. And with the exhale, you're gonna extend the left arm. And inhale, lower down with control. Use that triceps, nice. <laughs> Core is also working here as well. So breathe in lower. Breathe out, stretch. Zipping the abs in, let's add the rotation. Stay low, breathe in. Connect elbow and wrist to look down, breathe out. Open up the chest, breathe in. Stretch the left arm, breathe out. Amazing, when you're ready, let's add another movement. So elbow down as you exhale. And then pull the right elbow forwards and then open up, half circle into the sky and breathe out, extend the left arm. Good, breathe in, look down, pull the elbow to the wrist. Imagine drawing and half circle with your elbow up into the air and then stretch. Let's go for two more rounds here. So by pulling the elbow forwards, you create more length in your spine. You create more space for your intervertebral discs. Let's go one more. Breathe in, lower down. Breathe out, twist. Pull forwards, up and over. One more, stretch the arm. And then stay low on your forearm, guide the focus to your hips. Move the pelvis as you exhale, squeeze the glutes. Ooh, nice stretch. And as you inhale, move the pelvis forwards. So just moving the pelvis here. Keep the arms, the shoulders, the feet, the legs steady and calm. So as you exhale, we create more length in the lumbar spine and this position we call imprint position. Inhale, hollow back, exhale, imprint position. Also use that abs, not only the glutes. Last one, pull the navel in. And then stay in the neutral spine position, but with a strong powerhouse. Lift the right leg up, and with the next inhale, you lengthen and point. With the exhale, you flex and bend. Start here controlled. Keep the upper leg steady and calm. So your hip is not bent, so how not to do it? You don't pull the knee forwards to your chest. 
you think more about sticking the heel towards the butt cheek. So creating the strength, the power in your hamstrings, the muscles at the back of your leg. All right, let's include the deep work a little bit more. Let's go for the double leg kick. Exhale two times. Inhale, lengthen and reach. All right, listen to your shoulder, to your neck. If things getting uncomfortable, lay down on your side, but stay here active in your powerhouse, which means you have a little waist tunnel to keep the spine parallel to the ground, to keep your corset working here. <laughs> Breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out. <sighs> Ooh, let's go one more. <sighs> and then stay long breathing. Powerhouse, breathe out. So we're gonna circle forwards, upwards, back and center. Breathe out, flex and point. All right, let's circle. Breathe in and breathe out. I know the half circle forwards is a little bit bigger, easier than the half circle backwards, but also try to think about moving the leg back to squeeze your glutes to activate the hamstrings. Three more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Think more in length than in height. Yeah, remember, we don't want to move the pelvis like this. Maybe bring your upper hand onto your pelvis so you can keep the control here. And then finish the last one. And of course, we're gonna switch the direction of the circle. So start back up, forwards and back to starting position. Flex and point, five more to go, we can do it, come on. So pressing the lower leg into the ground can help. Breathe in as you circle. Breathe out so the sound of the exhale can help you to stay focused. So really breathe out loudly here. So you're alone at home, right? So you can do whatever you want. You can be as loud as you want. So breathe out that birthday candle. Last one, breathe in. And then keep the foot flexed. And we're gonna start to pulse. Breathe in. And breathe out, pulling the navel in and up. Breathe in. Don't move the upper body. When you're lying on the side, make sure that your waist tunnel is alive. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ooh. Come on, two more breaths. In. Breathe out. One more. Breathe in. And then stop the movement. Breathe out. Lengthen the leg a little bit more. And then drop. Ooh, shake it out. Massage the muscle. And then take it up a little bit higher. Nice job. So bring the right foot onto the mat, prepare for the side bend, the right arm on your knee, bring the hand onto the mat, onto the mat, shoulder low. And then as you inhale, press the right heel into the ground, come up and over as high as you can, and then lower down. Make sure that when you come up, that the shoulder is just above the wrist and lower down. This is your base, stick to it. It's a nice option here. Breathe in and breathe out. If you tried the variation on the first side, then I recommend you to try it here as well. So stay high, breathe in. And then thread the needle under, look down, twist, breathe out. Breathe in, look up. Open your upper chest muscle, breathe out. Look forwards and lower down so your wrist get a little bit of rest here in between. So breathe in and twist, breathe out. Keep pressing the left fingertips into the mat so we reduce the stress in your wrist a little bit. If you tried it on the first side, then try it here as well. Let's go, extend the legs, breathe in, breathe out. Look up and open. Look forward and settle down. We're gonna go for two more rounds. So find your 
version where you can keep going, where you can breathe, where you feel the work here. <laughs> Last one, breathe in. Breathe out. Look up to the sky, breathe in. Open the chest, look forwards, and then rest on the mat. Shake out your wrist, your shoulder, while you're extending the left leg diagonally to the front. Remember, we're gonna lift the heel first, so grow, inhale, and when you're ready, exhale, lift the heel. Breathe in, ground both butt cheeks, half roll down, breathe out. Breathe in, come onto your left butt cheek, right is in the air, lift your leg. Breathe in and breathe out. Nice job. So work slowly. Imagine you're moving through honey, so you can't move quite fast, right? Look to your right knee as you round your spine. Breathe in. Let's go for two more rounds. Keep the spine long as you lift the leg. Feel the adductors working here. Breathe in, ground both butt cheeks. And tucking the tailbone under pubic bone wants to reach up to the sky. Next time, when you're in the half roll down position, hold it. Keep the feet, the leg on the ground. Lift the right arm, inhale, and exhale, lower the arm. Rounding the spine a little bit more. Breathe and lift the other arm. And breathe out, lower down. One more, then lift both arms. But don't lift the upper body. Stay rounded. Create that C shape, that C curve in your spine. And breathe out. Breathe in. Curling the pelvis a little bit more. Breathe out. Whoo, enjoy. Breathe in. And breathe out. Let's go for two more. Fire it up, fire up that straight abdominal muscles. Here's your last one, breathe in. And then lower the arms first before you straighten your spine. Nice, bring the legs together and then bring the legs to the side and back so you can come up into your knee stance. Now extending the right leg to the side. Make sure you're not moving into a half split. Keep the hip joint above the knee. Make sure the toes are facing forwards. Outer edge of your foot is pressing down. Ready for that hip and knee mobility as you exhale. Try to connect a butt cheek and heel as you inhale, open up through the hip. So it's a nice mix today of mobility, flexibility and strength. Love that. Let's go. Three more. Breathe in. The crown of the head is lifting you up, creating length again to reduce the stress in your joints. Consciously squeezing the glutes as you come up. Breathe and lift. Let's go for one more. And then stay high, flex the right foot, turn it out and bend the leg. So see if you need to adjust the position, make sure the knee is just above the ankle as you bend the leg. And then let's bring the right fingertips down, inhale, lengthen and lift. Just need to adjust the microphone here for a second just keep moving inhale lifting the left arm and exhale look down so you already know what to do try to deepen with the right arm so pull the thigh to the back with the right with the right arm oh, nice love that we work on a healthy spine we work on soft hips. At the same time, keep the powerhouse active. Two more. 
Here is your last one before we fire up the whole body again. So now ground both hands, flipping the lower leg to the back, tuck the toes under, stretch the back knee. All right, prepare, press yourself out of your shoulder blades and with the next exhale, bring the right foot back, basic plank. Inhale, right foot next to your hand, lunge position, stretch it out. Exhale, keep shoulders, hips and heels in one line and inhale, stretch. Help yourself with the right hand to bring your foot next to your hand. All right. So the challenge is not to move your shoulders behind the wrist, okay? We don't want to move into the pike position. We want to stay in the plank. Whew, the whole body is working. Let's go for one more before we continue with the circles. So stay in the plank. Breathe in, circle the right leg. Breathe out another circle. If you need, drop the left knee. Breathe in two more. Breathe out, circle. And then switch the direction of the circle. Four in total. Breathe in. Breathe out. Ooh, I know it's tough, come on. Let's fight through it, two more. Building that full body strength. And then drop the toes on the floor, ground the knees. Child's pose, relax, recover. Whew. Deep breath in. Enjoy the warmth in the muscles, breathe out. Thanks for watching. If you like this workout, then let's take it to the next level together. Join our online studio and be part of our weekly live streams via Zoom. Get real-time feedback on your exercises and connect with a community of amazing women. So let's create a workout routine that keeps you committed and motivated. Or continue with this free YouTube workout over here. See you there.